All right, guys, welcome back to your 19th Ajax tutorial chat room video series, whatever you want to call it. Actually, I have been gone for about two weeks, haven't been making a lot of videos, and that is because I've been working on the brand new video series, How to Pick Up Girls, and it has been crazy filming everything and going to different colleges and picking up girls so that's my next video series I'm gonna come out with but before I do that and before I edit all everything I wanna finish this so still got whooping cough um yep other than that let's just go ahead and get started so in this tutorial I said we're gonna style this little part we already did all of this now we just have to do the username the pretty much this form down here so let's go ahead and work on this username section first so we're gonna stick everything in a div so div you and div this and let me scroll down so you guys can see a little bit better so first let's go ahead and make this input for the username itself so of course <coughs> input and I'll just end that right now so the type equals text because we're typing text into it now the ID of this I'm just gonna go ahead and call it username pretty creative naming conventions right there now the max length I'm just gonna set this equal to 10 and also might as well set the size equal to 10 as well seems you know like the reasonable thing to do <coughs> mm. oh excuse me kennel cough and now I want to mention one thing. I'm going to add this on blur. Now, you guys may see the thing on click a lot if you work with JavaScript or if you just touched on it before. Now, on click is a JavaScript um, attribute, which basically means whenever you click an element, you call a JavaScript function. Well, on blur is a little bit different. Well, on blur means whenever you lose focus, then you're going to call a JavaScript function and we're gonna make a function called check username so that's what we're doing on blur so let me go ahead and give you guys an example of this if I called myself Emily and you see how my cursor is in there right now as soon as I click anywhere else that's when the on blur function gets called so right now typing stuff boom the on blur function gets called right there so that's what on blur is again whenever the element loses focus let me just rearrange some crap on my window right here alright wanna make sure you guys can see what's going on now the next part I'm gonna do is this text area right here so we already did the username simple enough so actually if I just copy this it might be a little bit easier and a little bit lazier for me so of course it's text still now the ID of this I'm gonna call message box now the max link for this I'm gonna go ahead and put 2000 now if you guys don't know the difference between max length max length is how many characters you can type in and the size of it is pretty much the visual size how big is it on your computer screen so the size is 50 <coughs> now on blur we do not need that for this. Instead, we're going to use a different attribute called on key down. Now, this is another attribute, and what this does is whenever the user presses a key, it's. Ugh, did my voice just crack? I'm like freaking 30 years old. Well, not that old. I'm 26, and my voice still cracks. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing crap that's going on. Shouldn't even admit it. Should have just edited the freaking thing out but no here I am talking anyways on key down basically means whenever the user presses down a key on their keyboard boom this is called so what we're gonna call is we're gonna build handle key and the parameter we pass it in is of course the event which is basically the event itself alright so that looks pretty good now we only have to do two more things so we got this taken care of we got this taken care of now we need the send button and the delete all button and these are incredibly simple they're pr oh this little thing is popping up on my computer screen right now so restart in four hours and or actually postpone that crap I wanna make sure I don't actually delete my tutorial alright so anyways Windows thank you for interrupting me so the input for the let's go ahead and make the send uh, button first is 
type equals button and value equals send and this is of course the button that's going to send your message so we're going to give it an on click attribute so basically whenever you click this button it's going to call a javascript function send massage there we go now if we just copy this I think you guys can see what's going on from here this is button still and the text on the button is just going to be delete all and what this is going to do is basically delete anything that you have in your text area pretty simple so on click what we're going to want to do is just call delete all messages right like that and actually what it's going to do as well is not only well I don't know we can make it to clear this as well but it's going to clear all of these messages so whenever I uh, showed you guys the little functions in PHP to delete all the messages from the table that's what this is going to do and maybe like I said we'll throw some functionality to clear this message as well we can even add another separate button but for now just remember that it's going to clear basically all the messages in the chat room so now look at this boom save this file because boom roasted we are done with it and congratulations we have one more file to go so that's good news the bad news is it's a very long and not confusing file because I'm gonna break it up to break things down real simple for you guys but it's gonna take a few tutorials but once you understand it then you guys have now understood how to build an awesome freaking Ajax chat room so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and by the way follow me on Facebook where is it a little plug here plug 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 Bucky's Facebook account and I'll keep you guys updated on everything like uh, my new apartment um, photos of me and my sister and you know um, little stories about me hitting on girls how that series is going but anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time